Hey, I want to do a short, 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 short video on how we do the calculation for a two-tailed test. So let's just remind ourselves, first of all, okay, when we're looking at the tails here, we have our HA. When it's less than, it's the left tail. When we have our HA, our alternative hypothesis greater than, it is the right tail. But when we have our HA being not equal to, that is when we have a two-tailed scenario. So, as I look here, a two-tailed test, basically we're trying to see how far um, the sample mean is from that of the population in either direction. So, let me slide that over so you can get a better picture as you're writing things down. Okay, so that means that we calculate, when we have to calculate this by hand, and this is by hand and by hand alone, we have to double the P value that... Um, we found because, again, we're talking about in either direction. That is the key, how far it is from in either direction. So when we get the p-value, we have to take it and we double it. Okay, so, so let's take a minute and look over number 37. Um, but I want to look at 37b because b is saying that your um, alternative hypothesis is that it's not equal to. So what's happening here is that as we're looking at it for not equal to, it is a two-tailed test. And then when we find our p-value, which we found before, it was 0 0.0143. And that was the, the tail the, the for only one tail when it was on, here's that original problem, number 37, when it says where p was greater than. Well, that's when it was a one-tailed test. But now, since on the, the second scenario, Part B, is asking us, what about when it's a two-tailed test? When, when it's a two-tailed test, remember, we're talking about the farthest. We're looking at how far it is away from the true mean. And the true mean is always going to be about here somewhere. Okay, so that means that we're going to literally take that value and double it. I know that um, earlier today, in one of the class periods, I did it another way with a fraction. And I thought about it. I was like, oh, nope, these kids are fractionally challenged. So why am I going to go with fraction? So this is the thing. Whenever we do it by hand, by hand, by hand, by hand, okay, here we're just going to take the p-value and we're going to double it. And then we compare it to the alpha. So as we can see here, taking the p-value and doubling it, okay, the p-value is going to be less than, less than, Andrea, less than, less than, and because it is less than, we reject the HO. And here we can see that that p-value, when you do the math, is going to be greater than this, so we're going to fail to reject. So the objective of this video was to talk about when it's a two-tail, what do we do? We're always going to double the p-value when we do it by hand, because the thing is, is the beauty of the calculator is when it's done by the calculator, it does it for us. We ain't got to worry about that. Okay, so last video of the day. No more, no more, no more. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.